What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you all tuning in as always. If you're new to the channel, hit that dang subscribe button and smash that thumbs up while you're at it. I appreciate it a ton and it helps the channel out more than you all could imagine. Uh, but anyway, we just finished up an upload on this old gray dookie turd here behind me. Threw a set of transmission lines on it to remedy a, uh, a leaky transmission line that we had. Uh, simple as that. <laughs> but there'll be a link in the description. Go check out that video if you're into it. Um, but anyway, today's video is about the little blue ripper. We just got into the shop um, and I think I want to try to knock out or at least get started and get a good idea on uh, the clutch pedal and the clutch master. Get it all installed and get it all fitted up. Um, I got a bunch of parts rolling in, so I need to get boogie in on this damn truck and get it done. Start start chipping some shit off the block. You guys know the deal. Um, so let's, uh, what I got going is I got the hood popped. I went ahead and moved a couple things and I've got the hood popped on the parts truck out there. You guys can see the red. Um, I've got the hood popped on it too. And we're just locating where we need to drill for our master cylinder, um, uh, measuring holes, getting hole saws ready, getting stuff moved out of the way um, and just getting ready. Anyway, um, it's more or less just trial and error. You don't want to cut any holes or hit any holes or hit any hole saws or anything um, until you know exactly where you want to have your master cylinder at. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna get some tools out. I'm gonna get situated. I'm gonna get a drink of water. You guys know the deal. Let's get to it. So we're gonna try to start with the master cylinder to get it in place, and then we can kind of deal with the clutch pedal and whatnot. God, did you guys hear that? <laughs> that was that damn clear coat. I thought it was that leaf. My finger caught that clear coat though. This truck, it may get paint in the future. I don't know. We're definitely gonna hit the hood. Uh, it's got some clear issues. Um, but it, yeah, anyway, I don't want to even want to get into that right now. Uh, but anyway, um, I already started underneath the hood. Um, like I say, we're going to try to start with the master cylinder. I went ahead and pulled this little brace off right here. It just runs from here around to here. Got a couple of 13 mils. Um, and then this, uh, I don't even know what module this is for or what it's for. I, for the uh, cruise control? Huh. I guess it's for the cruise. Yeah, it is for the cruise control. Uh, anyway, it's just held on by three 10 mils. There's an electrical connection that goes right here. And I just got it pulled over here out of the way, kind of tucked over top of the uh, brake, or brake reservoir right there. Uh, but we're just going to take this module. And we're just going to slide it over here out of the way, just trying to gain some room. And right off rip, I see what I was looking for. Um, you guys look right here that little dimple, uh, that is just a pre-marked spot on the firewall from the factory. Um, if this would have been a manual truck, this hole would have been plugged. Now this hole needs to be quite a bit bigger. Um, I wanna say it's about uh, maybe three, three and a half inch hole or so, um, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a hole saw, uh, get it going. But first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find my little hinky tape measure. Uh, might be back around the tailgate. Y'all check out all these damn parts. Look at all this. I mean, and it is endless. Look at all this shit. Boxes on boxes. I mean, we have got all kinds of stuff. You guys probably know what that is. Michigan Motorsports. Take a wild guess. What was I looking for, guys? Uh, 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 tape measure. Tape measure. I'm telling you guys, this mine goes a mile a damn minute. Yeah, I knew it. I was measuring transmissions. That's why I brought up drive shafts, or I think I did anyway. I think I'm gonna have to get a drive shaft made or get mine shortened. Uh, maybe lengthened. Anyway, <laughs> we got the hood popped on the old parts truck here. And you guys can see whenever we went to uh, remove the master cylinder from this one, we did basically the same thing. We pulled this little, I'd say it's the cruise control module out of the way, disconnected these little tabs from the firewall and boom. Right where that dimple would be is exactly where it is. And you guys can see it's a little tight, um, but it, it works out. It definitely does. I, I don't know if we're going to be able to get in there um, without re removing our uh, uh, brake fluid reservoir and whatnot. But anyway, it is neither here nor there. Let's see if I can get in here and at least get a rough measurement. It's looking like is that two and three quarter. Is that what that looks like to you guys? what it looks like to me yeah two and three quarter there's two and a half two and, yep, two and three quarter hole all right so that's about what we're gonna go with i'll probably do a little bit of research just to kind of uh dot my t's cross my eyes <laughs> i know y'all like that one uh but just to kind of you guys know the deal. just touch on all my bases 
Um, but that's pretty much exactly where we're going to start at. Um, I've got a big set of uh, different size hole saws, so we'll get them going. Uh, I'm just going to have to figure out if I'm going to be able to get in here at the right angle. I may have to remove some more shit. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but anyway, let me actually, let me show you guys the master cylinder we got. So I was a little butthurt about it. I say that I was going to get a new one anyway, but this was a brand new master cylinder that they put on that parts truck out there. And it's a six cylinder parts truck. Um, and I went ahead and ordered a master cylinder for a four, eight truck. They're the exact same, exact same part number down to the T, they're the exact same. Um, but I went a little snip snip on this one because I couldn't get the quick disconnect that runs from the slave to the master. Could not for the life of me get it disconnected. Um, so Snip, snip. <laughs> you guys know the deal. Uh, but I ordered one, got the wrong one, turned around, and had to order another one. So this is the correct one. There's your part number if you guys want to get it. Made in Mexico. You guys can see it is the exact same thing. You guys can see what I snipped off and what I was talking about. That quick disconnect fitting right there. Couldn't for the life of me get it disconnected. Uh, but there you go nice and simple you just gotta kind of throw it together um you've got your clutch clutch position sensor um i think we're just gonna jerry rig this bad boy up i'll show you guys that once we get it installed um and this is your tool for your quick disconnect fitting um, anyway they got directions for you there's my receipt i hang on to that but that's what we're dealing with master cylinder wise I've actually got to run and grab a right angle drill um, but i may have to save that until tomorrow because it is getting a little bit late on me um, but to make or to get in there with our hole saw we're gonna have to get a right angle drill to get in there um, but i think we're gonna be able to do it without removing any brake components um, but a regular drill you will not fit it in here um, but anyway that ain't no problem um all right like i say i've accomplished a lot today filmed another video on the great truck over here so i'm not worried about finishing this one but more or less wanted to break ground so i got an idea kind of like this I know I need a right angle drill now. So why add that to the inventory? But anyway, I just wanted to come inside the truck here. We're going under the dash. You guys can see right here. Let me see if I can get in here. Look right here. They lay everything out for you perfectly. That is the exact spot where your master cylinder is going to need to feed through and go into the back of your clutch pedal. And I'll show you guys that here in a minute. But you can, oh look. Mine's already coming off. We can go ahead and just remove that in its entirety. Yes, you see, ripped off that tab. I thought I done tore it off or something. Anyway, I guess there's a tab. Um, anyway, I mean, we're gonna have to get that foam. Well, that's just on a tab too. How damn convenient is that? Just gonna get that little circle out of there. We can tuck the rest of that on up in there. And that exposes our little dimple right there that goes through to the firewall. So you go, like I say, guys, they lay it out for you completely. Um, I'm not going to do a little hole saw. I'm just going to drill me a pilot hole in the middle of this. Or it's actually, yeah, no, hell, that, yeah, that's not even the right spot. So yeah, I might have to hit a pilot hole from the inside because there's a little dimple. You guys see that little nipple right there? He, he, <laughs> look, look, hang on. Tune in the radio. <laughs> I'll quit, guys. Uh, anyway, that's where, that's my center hole. That's where I'm going to put my pilot hole. I'm going to hit it, and then I'll go to the outside and hit it with the hole saw. But you guys can see it's the same size hole that was in our parts truck out there. Um, but anyway, and then we can line up and get to figuring out our clutch pedal. All right, so you guys follow the camera. I'm going up underneath the dash, looking straight up. Oh, I'm sorry. Nope, that's the one I'm going to have to figure out. Never mind. Never mind that top one. I'll explain that here in a minute. But right here... These two spots is where the backside of your clutch pedal is going to mount to. There's three mountain spots, two here and one straight up where I was just going a second ago. But we're going to have to get a couple of flag nuts and size them up with the bolts that we took out of the parts truck. And we can, I think, yeah, feed them in from the top side, get them down in there. We'll use a magnet or something and then feed our bolt in, thread it on there, cinch it down, be good to go. But mounting up top. I don't know what we're going to do there yet. I'm going to have to look on the parts truck and see what they got going on. But there's supposed to be one more mounting hole going straight up as well as those two. So anyway, we've got plenty to do. Um, like I say, there, there's not a whole lot to these clutch systems, really. It's more or less just doing it. 
Okay, so before we go to actually install our clutch pedal and our clutch master cylinder, I just kind of wanted to show you guys how they work. Uh, of course, your master cylinder, this is where it goes up to the firewall, the whole saw deal that we've been talking about. This is where it feeds through, and you've got a little rubber grommet here that seats up against the firewall just like that. Um, and like I say, it's pretty damn simple. Um, here is our clutch pedal. All right, imagine, obviously, you guys, you know the orientation. You can tell which way it goes. This way it goes up against the firewall. It's the back side here. You know what I mean? This is the front side here. Uh, but anyway, right here is where your master cylinder comes through the firewall and it just locks into place. Oh, maybe one more turn. Oh, just like that. Locks into place. That's what you need the hole in the firewall for, just to go through right there. This stays in the engine bay, and that's good to go. But your rod here, it will be attached to your master but it runs straight through just like that. This will, I'm not gonna attach it all the way, but this will push in here and lock to take it out. You have to squeeze those tabs and pull it out. Um, so like I say, that it's it's very, very easy function. I hope that, guys, I hope that kinda, kinda laid it out for you. <laughs> I try guys, I try. Um, if you guys need a clutch pedal actually too, there's the part number on that if you want to pause the screen and get it. I'm going to clean this one up. It came out of the parts truck. Um, it's a little bit gross, but it was a new replacement, so I can't complain too much. the nectar. What's up, bitches? So it is the next day, you guys. Um, I got off work a little bit early, training outside, um, and I just went ahead, ran to Harper Freight, and I was gonna get, um, I told you guys I was gonna get a right angle drill, um, and I was gonna get one from Harper Freight, but by the time I got the battery, um, the charger and the drill itself i mean it was going to be over i mean over a hundred dollars you know what i mean um so i figured just keep it milwaukee because i've already got a charger um so i just went ahead and picked up a milwaukee right angle drill i don't know i don't like really like how small it is um i feel like it should be a little bigger i went ahead and did that and picked up an extra battery i've always been running off of one battery for my battery ratchet but I figured why the hell not. Um, I think it was a, like a buck seventy-five for all of it. I don't know if my card information's on there. I may have to block that out, you guys. I'm not sure. But anyway, there. This should be okay. There you go. If you guys are wondering the price, and there is the drill I got, everything, and I got some bubble gum. <laughs> anyway, so that's cool. And I went ahead and went to Harbor Freight. They got the hook up on gloves, and I picked up this puller here because we're going to need it for our crank pulley that is right we're going all the way down to the crank pulley boys uh but anyway i'm going to get this stuff opened up we're going to jump straight to it i want to try to get the clutch pedal and the master cylinder installed within a couple hours so i can go ahead and move on um to a little bit more pressing stuff oh yeah and i'm going to try to plug out the hole um for the shifter where it comes up through the through the doghouse i guess you'd call it um, I'm going to try to locate the hole there, drill or cut it out and everything. Uh, we'll see if we can do it without causing too much damage. Anyway, let me get situated. Let me get juiced up. Let's get into it. You'll check out this little dude. Cute little fucker. He was sitting over on the ladder rack. I don't know how the hell or why the hell he's in here, but he is gorgeous. Cool shit. Okay, now like I was saying, we're gonna jump right into it. Um, and earlier in the video, I was pointing at this dimple here, a uh, little indention, like that's where the master was gonna go, but it's actually, I couldn't see it because of the dust, but you guys see that little indent right there. That's where we're gonna drill. So we're gonna hit our pilot hole right there, and then we'll grab our, uh, I actually don't have a two and three quarter hole sold, but I got a two and a half. 
and I think that's gonna work fine. Um, if it don't work, we can always go a little bigger. That's not a problem. Um, but this is why I got that uh, right angle drill because it's just too hard to get in here with a regular drill. Here, I'll actually, I'll show you guys. I got my battery charged on this bad boy, which actually, by the way, looks pretty decent. Um, it's got speed settings. I didn't realize it at first. I was like, damn, why is this thing going so slow? <laughs> got speed settings on it, so that's cool. Um, but I'm gonna try to charge it up a little bit, get a little juice before we go drilling in it. Um, I don't want to be disappointed right off rip, so I figured give it a chance with a full battery. Uh, but anyway, you guys can see this is without the whole saw on it. And I mean, it's just, there's no way. I mean, there's just not enough room. I mean, if you want to disconnect a bunch of shit, go for it. But just soon, up your arsenal, get, get the right tool for the job. Um, I've never needed one before, but hey, it's an excuse to get another Milwaukee product. Why the hell not? Um, and it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, it beats using one of these little fuckers. These things are annoying as hell. You know, attach it to your drill and now you got a right angle drill. <laughs> Anywho, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get my whole saw out. Next clip, we'll be drilling this some bitch out. I can already tell you guys, I'm gonna like this thing. I just threw that old battery on there for now, but pretty damn cool. Almost need a longer drill bit to get in here. Um, I'm gonna try plug this pilot hole. No, that's not it. <laughs> Come on, baby. Could use a better drill bit, huh? Yeah, let me try to speed her up. Let's try that. Oh, I'm down to, I'm down to one juicy bar. Here, let's grab another battery. That's quite the difference. I don't think the battery's all the way charged. It says it is. No, it ain't. A whole lot more power though. <laughs> you can tell that battery was about shot. That battery's pretty old anyway. Let's see if I can even get in here. I'm trying to show you guys and do it at the same time. There we go. Kinda hard to do with one hand, fellas. There we go. Yeah, right there. You guys can see the light through there, I think. And there. She is the root. Cool. Now let's grab the hole saw and let's plug the big hole. But first, here, let's just go inside just to make sure that we are centered up pretty good. Come under the dash here. Yep, we are perfectly centered. You guys see. I moved this module out of the way last night. You guys see our pilot hole right there? If it'll focus, we're dead center. That's where we need to be. So now we're just gonna plug the rest of our hole and try to fit up our master cylinder. Well, after we'll put the master cylinder up to it, see if it'll fit. But before we put it in place, we've got to get our clutch pedal in place. But anyway, I just wanna get this hole plugged first. <music> up having to go down to a uh two inch i guess instead of a two and a half you know i can i can just tell you guys yeah two inch because this uh two and a half that i had look you can see the teeth on it it's just a cheap hole saw uh, bought it as a set i don't even remember where it came from but uh just a cheap set didn't work out um, but that's two inch it's gonna be just fine i took apart the old master cylinder um you guys can see went ahead and took the rod out and everything but i just wanted to test fit just to make sure that it's gonna go in there. It's gonna be just fine. Um, I'm gonna figure out a way to touch up that little bare metal spot um, because that kind of looks like shit now. You're not really gonna be able to see it anyway, but that kind of gives you an idea of where the master cylinder is gonna sit at, just like that. Pretty dang easy, guys. And then that just routes straight down to your slave, or the slave cylinder line actually routes up here to this one. Um, but pretty damn easy. That rod feeds through to your clutch pedal. But uh, I'm going to take my Dremel, I'm going to clean up this edge a little bit, maybe a file. I'm going to go ahead and clean up that edge. Maybe touch this up with uh, some rattle cam paint. I might tape around it and touch it up just a little bit. Uh, just so no rust or anything, or you guys know what I mean. Uh, but anyhow, 
Let me get this cleaned up, all situated, and we'll jump on into the cab and see if we can't get that clutch pedal mounted up. So this is what I got tore apart, you guys. Um, I've got this little bracket out. Oh that holds this module in place and I went ahead and disconnected some of the wires off of it so I can move it around but now you guys can see kind of what I'm working with um it's pretty easy to snake up in here actually um but I fit it up one time and I actually discovered that hole does need to be bigger not just big enough for the master cylinder um but let me show you guys it's a two inch hole it's a two inch hole right now and I do think it's gonna need to be two and three quarter and uh, we may be able to get by with two and a half um but if you guys can see this little ring here, that's where some of the old insulation was. You guys can see some of it hanging on. Uh, this piece needs to be poking out of the firewall. This little piece here, let's see if I can show you guys. Down here, and you guys don't mind my willy nilly rattle can job. It'd be covered up, don't worry. This little piece here needs to be coming out, needs to be protruding out of the firewall. Um, and then we will put our master cylinder up to it. Um, so right now that two inch hole, there it is a two inch hole. And I'll show you guys what we got here. So we got two and a half. So two and three quarter would be nice and this lip would still catch. But I think a two and a halfer and we take our Dremel, Dremel it out just a little bit and I think it'll be fine. Um, I don't have a two and a half, I don't think. Uh, this is my cheap set. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find one. Um, we're gonna have to make that hole a little bit bigger. Uh, so we may have to run back to the hardware store. Um, either way, I'll catch you guys in a second. So we ran to the hardware store, uh, went to Harbor Freight actually, and picked up a two and three quarter hole saw. Um, but wound up pretty much just doing it all with the Dremel. As you guys can tell, it's a little whoopy. Um, if you're gonna go, or if you're gonna make, uh, if you're gonna plug a hole with the hole saw, probably best off doing it with the right size the very first time. <laughs> a little bit of a bitch getting in there, especially a tight spot like this, and starting a hole, uh, or starting another hole, bigger one, without a pilot hole to go by. Um, anyway. We had some trial and error. Um, you guys can see we, we got a hold of our boot a little bit, but it's all good, no big deal. We'll clean it up pretty good and we'll throw a little coat of paint on it. Um, in time, this little module here is brought back over and put into place. You won't hardly see anything. I promise, I promise. Um, anyway, let's jump in the cab. I wound up having to take off a little bit more plastic trim and whatnot. Um, just to clear everything, but everything is lined up perfectly. Let me see if I can get up in here. You guys can see that is the hole leading the outside right there that your master cylinder uh, rod, whatever you want to call it, uh, pokes through. Um, and then it shoots over. I don't know if I'm on it. Maybe, yeah, into there. And that's what the white piece clips into. And then you just push your clutch and good to go so you guys can see obviously we're gonna have to trim on our brake pedal a little bit but that's no big deal at all um we do have our clutch pad it's somewhere i don't know where the hell i put it uh it might be over on the workbench anyway we do have it but you guys can see our two mounting spots right watch right back here they line up perfectly you can kind of see the outer ribs of the hole they line up perfectly both of them you guys can see if I move it to the side. Anyway, they line up. Um, I'm going to try. I don't know. It's going to be a solid try. I don't think it's going to work. But I need, I need to either thread those holes or I need to get a flag nut or just get a nut back there somehow to secure this uh, clutch pedal. Um, but once we do that, I was able to peel off a tab going up to the top side. Well, you guys can see. Hang on. See if I can get it to focus. Right there, you guys see that hole right there at the tip of my shadow. Um, it's bare metal up there. I was able to peel a plastic tab off. 
I'm just gonna get a, wa a big washer, get a self tapper, and I'm just gonna send that bad boy home at the top side because these back two are pretty much the main mounting point. So I just wanna make sure and get those bad boys tight. Uh, but anyway, I know I'm making y'all sick with the camera probably. I just wanted to show you the progress. I'm gonna try to figure out these two mounting points back here. Um, and then once we get the clutch pedal all the way uh, set into place, um, we can go ahead and put our new master cylinder in and take out that old one that I'm using for mock-up purposes. And probably before I end the video off, um, I'm just trying to knock out all this tedious stuff in this video. I don't know if I'll go over all of it, but I need to plug the hole right in the doghouse here so that I can uh, uh, have room for my shifter to come up whenever we stab the transmission in. Because um, it's, it's going like clockwork now. We just need to knock all this shit out. Um, anyway, I'll touch base here in a second. Man, I absolutely love this trial and error shit. Um, I don't know if it's just switching it up to a different platform other than diesel or what. But oh, it's just fun messing with these trucks. But we've got our clutch pedal all the way installed. And I want to show you guys a little trick that I did. Um, it, it's in. It's good. It's tight. You guys can tell I'm tickled shitless. Um, I got the brake, uh, brake pedal off of uh, the parts truck out there. I'm going to pull the pad off and pull this pad off. And I'm going to outline the little pad itself on this brake pedal so that we got the right size and we can put our pad on it. Um, and then we'll be good to go here. You guys can see how it's hitting, but you can tell the clutch pedal is in the exact perfect spot. We just need to cut our brake pedal right here and we'll be good to go. Um, but anyway, so you guys can see some metal shavings in here. It's because I've been going drill happy. You guys see that hole right there where I poked through and was hitting the firewall. That's big enough see, for my little Johnny finger. Of course, you guys can't see now. There you go. Hang on. Oh, shit. You guys can see. That's big enough for my little Johnny finger to get all the way in there. So what I was doing, I was just taking my finger and more or less doing one of those little... Uh-uh. <laughs> doing one of those. Uh, anyway, we was able to get the nut up in there and hold it with my finger, start the bolt, and then uh, I just took my Milwaukee... It's not over here. Took my battery ratchet center home and they snugged up perfect didn't put no lock washer or nothing but they snugged up perfect we'll be able to tell obviously if it gets loose but then as for the top side um i don't know how it didn't line up or why it doesn't line up but there's nothing straight ahead of the hole for like two or three inches so i didn't want to get a bolt or a self taper that long so what i did i just uh it's the bolt or the hole lines up right at the ridge where the firewall curves up so I just took a uh, self tapper and kind of went at an angle and just shot it straight into the firewall just so that there's some pressure being held at the top and the whole clutch assembly isn't really pressing down whenever you hit the clutch. Um, I, don't, I didn't want to hit the clutch and then the top side of the clutch assembly up here to kind of peel down because it is all plastic. Um, but anyway, let me see if I can get in here and show you guys. Yeah, you guys can see it right there. Yeah, there we go. It's on the other side of the hole, and then you guys can kind of see where the blue is right at the back side of the hole. It's so hard to do this. Right at the back side of the hole. That's the ridge. You can see the curve in it. Um, so anyway, I just wanted a little structural rigidity at the top side, but we are good to go. I mean, I'm, I tug on it and everything. She ain't going nowhere, and everything is lining up beautifully. It, it is awesome. I absolutely love it. Now, okay, before I vacuum and clean up in here and put my carpet back, because um, I'm not going to take the carpet all the way out for the hole, uh, for the shifter. I think I can just cut through the bottom and then drill a hole, and I can get an X-Acto knife and cut out my carpet and everything and keep it nice and clean. Now, before I go any further, let's see if I can, may have to use two hands. No, we can get her, I think. There we go. Got that brake pad off. Let's run out to the parks truck real fast. Damn, it turned into a beautiful day. It's been nasty the past few days. Uh, but anyway, now you can come in here. There's our hole. This thing is nasty, by the way, but it's good reference. Um, anyway, we're going to grab this brake pedal cover, maybe. Oh, get off there. Boom. There you go. Of course, we'll clean everything up. Ew, I'm gonna leave the doors open. It feels mighty, mighty fine outside. So what I'm gonna do, you guys can see how they're the same size pedal. That pad lines up just like that. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna kinda 
put it right on the ridge, right on the outside of it. I wasn't filming. And then the outside ridge, because you, you want it to be as wide as the pedal, not the inside, so that these lips have something to grab onto. If it's a little tight, you're better off. You can always grind down on it some. Uh, but anyway, we're going to take our, uh, our, uh, fuck. <laughs> we're going to take our pencil for our marker, make a mark. We're going to come back over and just zip that side off. And we'll be good to go basically on the interior. I can at least peel the carpet back, vacuum, get all these metal shavings out, um, and just keep boogieing. So here's our mark, you guys. That's where we're gonna cut it at. I'm just gonna zip a straight line and then kind of bevel these edges just a little bit. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. Let's do it. Y'all check this out. It gets better and better every time. Boom, there you go. Hang on, let me get a light actually. There you go, check it out. Um, I'm about to throw the master in and it'll hold the pedal up in place or where it needs to be actually. Man, does that look fucking sweet though. The only thing I'm worried about, I unplugged the two plugs out of this module here and I couldn't remember where one of them went. So I'm hoping I put it in the right place. But man, this is absolutely freaking killer. Um, that brake pedal is just a little wonky. That's why that's sitting like that. I may end up taking it off and trimming a little more. You guys can see that ear kind of on the back side. Um, I'm not worried about it right now. That is absolutely tits, if you ask me. Um, so let's just go ahead. I pulled off my mock-up uh, master cylinder. I went ahead and pulled it off. You guys can see, I'm actually going to throw a little tape right here real fast, just to make sure we don't get any paint in there. And I'm going to throw a little black coat of paint around this, just to keep from any rust forming or anything like that. And we'll grab our master, feed it in, and we'll have to go inside and snap this into the clutch pedal. Uh, but it should be pretty damn simple, so let's knock this shit out. We got our master cylinder as one unit. We went ahead and put our, uh, whatever you want to call it, push rod, what the hell ever, installed. Now we're just going to, same way you put on, or I put on the mock-up one without the rod, but you're going to just feed it in like that. You guys don't mind my hinky spray paint job. I'm gonna feed it in there and just halfway get it in place. Just kind of seat it in place. Um, then we're gonna go in the little white ball piece that just snaps into the back of the clutch pedal. So let's see. Okay, so we're gonna come underneath here. We're gonna try to locate where we are at. All right, it went right into place. If you guys could imagine, as I pushed it in, all you gotta do is just gotta. Give her a little push. May have to do it with two hands, fellas. Maybe. There we go. You guys heard that click. We're in on that side. So now, let's go back to the engine bay. Let's go ahead and secure it. Give her a twist. Boom. Just like that. Like I say, don't mind my hinky spray paint job. I'll get everything bolted back up and kind of show you guys the finished product. Um, but anyway, so this is a pre-bled master cylinder. Come here. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm going to have to mess with some wires and stuff. Uh, but anyway, it is a pre-bled master cylinder. Oh, good gosh almighty. I don't know where that thing's going to feed to exactly. I got to get my wire and move back around. It's looking like it's about where it's going to run, though. Really, just soon it not be right there, though. We may have to disconnect one more time, fellas. Hang on. A little finagling. Got it all thrown on. You guys don't mind this hinky-ass fucking power wire. It's to the sub that's behind the damn seat or the amp uh but anyway it's what it looks like i told you guys you would not be able to see any of that spray paint back there but we have got just a nut hair of clearance down here i don't know if you guys can see that right in between there but that's just fine might be even be able to clock it a little more maybe not but anyway it looks absolutely killer no leaks no nothing i found the correct routing for uh, uh, our master cylinder going to our slave, we can just bring our slave cylinder up in between here and connect that bad boy right there. Um, so it, 
it's factory spec more or less you guys you guys cannot tell me if you pop the hood that it doesn't look factory to you guys i fucking love it uh, let's just jump in the truck real quick i'd assume the clutch pedal isn't depressing uh, because the seal hadn't been broken on the master cylinder you like to say it is pre-bled so in order for it to hold pressure um, they've got to seal it off anyway check it out you're shitting me oh my god i just want to sit in here and see what see what the foot putting oh, look at that that is going to be absolutely perfect <laughs> god i'm soaked about this uh one thing we do got to do we don't have an emergency brake the cable is just cut right in two um like i say the guy i bought this truck from a while back he deals strictly with single cab short bed two-wheel drive v8 chevys um his name's justin uh i don't want to give out all his information but he's in kentucky too uh but he's got an awesome business going he sells the hell out of these little trucks uh, like name hotcakes and that's all he does i mean i think he said he sells like close to a hundred of them a year uh, but anyway that's neither neither here nor there but i gotta say this is sweet absolutely killer it's a little bit dirty in here and it kills my ass but once we get this truck complete we'll get it show ready don't worry um, so I do think I'm just going to hold off on cutting a hole in the floor, uh, probably for whenever we go to stab the transmission in the truck. Uh, I, I, we accomplished quite a damn bit. I am so happy with the way those pedals turned out. Just the brake pedal. I need to trim on it a little bit more. But God, this is going to be sweet. Oh, God, I can't wait. I don't even know what to say, guys. I'm not exactly sure where this footage is going to land at, um, but we're getting the uh, hole for the shifter on the transmission cut out um, on the doghouse and our little blue ripper here. Um, you guys can see we got our carpet peeled back. Um, anyway, that's kind of wanted to touch base. I don't know where I'm going to throw this at in the video, uh, but I do suggest peeling the carpet back here. Let me show you guys why. So come on in here. Um, I know we just now had this all peeled back to get the clutch pedal in, um, but I didn't think about till I had the truck all the way up in the air. You can see my support stands. I got those set out, had it up in the air. And right before I got my cutting wheel out, I remembered whenever I was in here cutting on this pedal, I don't know if you guys can see, I even covered up this insulation, but it didn't take much at all. Um, and it caught on fire. Um, I caught it pretty quick as you guys can see, um, but I didn't know if there was insulation above where I'm going to be cutting at, uh, but turns out there is. So that's why I didn't want to. I didn't want to start a fire, not be able to hear the truck be in the air, and then I have to waste a bunch of time getting the truck down and blah blah blah, and, and burn my carpet up, burn my truck up. Didn't want to deal with it. Uh, but anyway, we peeled our carpet back, and as you guys can see, there's a little pre-cut spot here in the insulation. Let's see if we can just peel it off. I think it will. Gotta love some insulation. You guys can see this indent. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this back for now too. We can get it out of the way. Yeah, just like so. You guys see this indent right here. That's right where your shifter is gonna poke up through. Um, I've got it marked on the bottom. Uh, because it's not this whole spot. I went and measured the one out in the parts truck and it's about uh, five and a half centered on this hole. So I got my square marked out down below and uh, whenever I get the square cut out, I'm going to take my little die grinder uh, and I'm just going to round out the corners and stuff like that um, and hit it with a little bit of coat of paint, keep it from rusting and be good to go. Um, but anyway, that's all I wanted to do inside the cab. Just make sure we don't have any fires or anything. We're still liable to. Stem insulation sparks up bigger than shit. Let's see if I can tuck it back just a little bit and not away from that hole. Because it's going to get sparky. I may even. Oh, 
me see if I can, I think I might throw these rubber floor mats down in there just to kind of, just to kind of guard a little bit. I may be, I may be being a little extra, but better safe than sorry, if you guys ask me. That'd be good right there. I ain't gotta be fine. Um, anyway, let's get the truck up in the air. I'm gonna show you guys underneath. I'm gonna cut it out, um, and that's it. Um, like I say, I don't know where I'm gonna throw this at in a video. Um, one to touch base, nonetheless.